spring and in fall, the rainy seasons, this is a prime time for bugs and insects to want to enter your home seeking shelter. So when you get a lot of rain in a short period of time, it pretty well flushes them out of your lawn, the grass, the mulch, your flower beds, and they're looking for a place to hide. And your home is where they're looking. So I'm gonna show you what I do to prevent them and repel them. This isn't a killer, it just keeps them away. And it works pretty good, so I'm gonna show you how I make it. So just a couple things to note. This is not my recipe. I found it online. I'll post the ingredients up in the screen. And I did change shirts because this will stain. So don't wear white. So this is my take on the recipe and the way that it shows it is just put that in a spray bottle. But I wanna make this more of a concentrate because you don't wanna make this all the time. I'd rather just be able to go and pour it into my sprayer and then dilute it with water. So I'm gonna mix it very heavy. So I got garlic, more garlic, cayenne pepper, and of course Dawn. Dawn is the last thing that goes in after everything is strained out and whatnot. So let's get started building this, putting it together, and then we're gonna go spray. So I'm gonna mix this up in the food processor. So it calls for six cloves of garlic. I'm gonna go way more than that. So I got two heads here and I got this. So let's break this up. You don't have to be too fancy or anything because you are gonna be mixing it up and then stirring it out. So I'm not peeling that, but there's angles of garlic. Manny as you can use the whole thing. Slippery little buggers. Those go in. In, in. And then there's some big cloves in this, which is awesome, because for this, more the better. And just so you guys know when it's all done and mixed. This stuff stinks. It will actually burn your nostrils when you're spraying it. So just be cautious about it. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these put in there, then put in the cayenne. So I got those garlic heads broken apart roughly and put into the processor. So next thing you gotta add is your cayenne pepper. And it calls for one tablespoon for this mix, for like the six clove, one tablespoon of this. Now, obviously I'm going way heavy on everything. So there's definitely gonna be probably like six tablespoons of this, maybe even eight. So I'm gonna go with eight tablespoons, which is half a cup of cayenne. So put that in. So as you can already tell, this is way stronger than what it calls for on the recipe. That's because I want it to be a concentrated formula. Okay, so we're just gonna mix this up, break it down as fine as we can, add a little bit of water until it's almost a paste, maybe like a pancake consistency. And, well, we'll continue on from that. Now, as you can see, it's been mixed into like a fine paste. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this into this, because this has to sit for like 24 to 36 hours, because it's gonna suck all the good stuff out of both of those ingredients and be, make it extremely potent. So that's what we're gonna do. Now to get that out of there, I'll probably add a little bit more water, just so it's easier to pour out. And then I'll top this thing up. Then it sits for 24 hours. Now the paste is put into this, so I'll top this up with water to about there somewhere, and it'll sit for 24 to 36 hours. Once that's set, I'm gonna filter it into this using pantyhose, because that is my preferred method for filtering stuff. And then once it's in here filtered out, I'll level it up to the six liter mark with water. After that, it's good to use. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix it four to one ratio. So if you use one cup of this, use four cups of water is essentially how you're gonna use it. Couple quick notes. Make sure you wash your hands after handling the garlic and cayenne pepper. 
because if you get it in your eyes, it's gonna burn, it won't feel good, so don't do it. So I got that steeping for 24, 36 hours, and then I'll strain it into that, like I said. The one thing I didn't mention is, once you got it straight into that, then add your Dawn dish soap. About six tablespoons for this mixture. You can go eight, that's fine. It's just gonna help it stick to where you spray it. So I'm gonna go spray the outside of my house, so I already have a batch of this made up in the sprayer ready to go. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll happily respond to you, because I always do. So yeah, let's go spray. Now, when you're spraying this, I got my two gallon pump sprayer, and all you do is go around the whole outside of your house about a foot away. I mean, from the wall end, a foot. It's like that. Be generous. The soap's there to help it stick. Bugs do not like this smell. You won't even come close. smell it so yeah that's all you do you just go around your whole house and after if you get a good rainfall then you might want to reapply because it will wash away but until then you're not gonna have any issues with bugs so I hope you liked this video thanks for sticking around it's been backwards we'll see you in the next one